Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Justin, also known as Spider-Like, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the Fortnite Rift locations and the new Season 5 update. Now, uh, these locations are not uh, the same every single game, however, they do have similar uh, spots that they like to spawn in every game, so I'm going to be going over all those spots in this video here, and um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. So I do have a replica of the Season 5 map and I went into Photoshop and put some blue points on all of the rifts that I have discovered so far in the few days that I have played the game. Now I did go out of my way this morning to attempt to locate all of the rifts in the game to make this video. Uh, however, I still feel like I may have excluded just a couple. Um, but these are all the main ones. These are the ones that people like to use often. But yeah, one thing I have noticed with these rifts is that they are a lot more prevalent in the newer locations, especially out in the desert and over by Paradise Palms. Uh, so that's what I spent a lot of my time doing this morning when I was actually uh, looking for these. Uh, so a lot of these earlier clips are going to be there. Uh, there are also rifts at every single Stonehenge statue, uh, or like the stone face. Uh, across the map, there is one at Lonely Lodge, there is one in front of Dusty Divot, and uh, there is another one, I think, over by Tomato Town, but uh, don't quote me on that, I could be I could be wrong there. Anyways, if you were looking north of the tallest building from Paradise, uh, towards the Rove, over by the billboards and stuff like that, you should see uh, at least one, maybe a couple of rifts. Uh, they don't always spawn there, but more than likely they will be there in most games. Um, so yeah, that's the one I'm going to. There are also a couple of oasises in the desert, or oasi, oasi? I don't know how to say that word. That's that's a weird one, but um, there's there's always a few of them that spawn in there. I got unlucky in my game and didn't get any rifts in either of them, but that is another common location. A fun fact about these portals actually is you can actually get three people to fit through them if you go through at the exact same time. Uh, you can get even four if you are all in an ATV, which is the newer vehicle. But yeah, personally, I think they're a great addition to the game as a replacement for the Gravity Rocks. Uh, I know some people had their mixed opinions on those. Um, however, I, I guess uh, most people seem to be liking these so far. You can really, uh, it really makes landing on the outside of the map, like in Whaling and Junk Junction and areas like that, a lot more viable because you can just get instantly you know you can fly to the next town over and just be in the action again so um, yeah I think these are a lot more a lot more useful than grab rocks for you know what epic wanted their purpose to be originally all right the final rift spawn point I'm going to be showing off in this video in the desert is going to be on the southernmost town of the desert of the actual map itself I'm going to be pulling up the map again just to show you guys exactly where this is and I'll also pull up the map of all of the rift spawn locations again as well um, but yeah these spawn just right on the mountain uh, kind of towards the northern part uh, or maybe the northeastern part of the uh, of the end building basically you'll see in the video so that basically sums it up for all of the rift spawns found in the desert uh, I did not show the one by the hill next to Lucky Landing but that is also a honorable mention it's just not used a whole ton um, but yeah, now we're going to be looking at some of the more popular rift spawns outside of the desert. The first one we're going to be looking at is the one next to the Der Burger by Pleasant Park. Next we got the big Stonehenge guy in between Greasy Grove and the Viking spot on the mountain. Um, this one's some one that not many people really know about, but there's also a chance for a triple chest there, so uh, watch out for that. Finally, the POI with the absolute most rifts is the Viking spot next to Snobby Shores. It rests on top of a big giant mountain, and it's pretty hard to miss with all the Viking ships and uh, Viking villages and like Viking stuff all around, you know? Um, but yeah, these rifts pretty much spawn everywhere around this mountain. Uh, just look along the sides, ma mainly along the northern and southern side. And yeah guys, to end this video off, last but not least are the final two rift spawn points and they are going to be the other two big heads or the other two stone hinges on the map. Uh, one of them is going to be by Dusty Divot and the other is going to be by Lonely Lodge as I already referred to earlier. Um, these things have some really good stone if you hit them. You can get almost 100 stone. Uh, and they all have potentials for triple chests, so uh, landing here is definitely not a bad option if you're playing solo or in a duo and you just want to get 
you know, some decent stuff off the start. You want to get in a new position than you haven't been in already in Fortnite. Um, but yeah, guys, if you learned something new in this video, feel free to drop a like uh, or leave a comment. Ratings are always appreciated here. I know I've been away from YouTube for a long time, guys, and I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to get more into it recently. Uh, I ordered a new streaming PC, so I'm really excited about that coming. You guys should follow my Twitch. It'll be in the description down below. I plan on streaming there every day once I get that. Uh, you know, since I play Fortnite every day anyways, why not stream it? Um, but yeah, guys, have a good one.